Not all you see and read on the internet is true and correct. I do my best to verify that what I'm sharing here on my channel is backed by science. I encourage you to check out my sources posted on the description box below. I also specify if particular information is not supported by any scientific study. Eating star fruit has been related to the development of kidney damage caused by oxalates. Three pieces of star fruit or less than a cup of its juice can lead to acute star fruit nephrotoxicity. Ingesting even small quantities of star fruits may cause kidney issues, so it is important that the public is educated to avoid its consumption, especially when one is dehydrated or has an empty stomach to prevent nephrotoxicity. Star fruit contains a potent neurotoxin that can gather in the bloodstream and traverse the blood-brain barrier, eventually causing irreversible damage to the brain. The toxin is called caramboxin, which is normally excreted through the kidneys. This makes it even more dangerous for patients with renal insufficiency or compromised kidney function. It is so toxic for patients with severe chronic kidney disease that even a single star fruit can cause them to have seizures within three hours, be in a coma, and then die within three days. In about 100 toxicity cases, the range of consumption was between a half piece of star fruit to 50 pieces, with an average of four pieces. Most of these individuals had pre-existing kidney conditions. For individuals with a healthy kidney, the average number of star fruit consumption to cause toxicity was 15 pieces. So it is more likely for individuals with a healthy and normal kidney function to suffer from damage to the kidney than the brain, which begins at about four pieces of star fruit. The bottom line is that individuals with a chronic kidney disease should not consume star fruit to prevent intoxication. The fruit is popular in Brazil and there are existing laws to alert the public regarding the risks. Due to its neurotoxins, star fruit should be forbidden for individuals with chronic kidney disease. To err on the safe side, those with healthy kidneys should probably avoid it as well. If you find this video informative and interesting, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you love science-based content on beauty and health, Consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and stay safe.